Hello, it's Wednesday, March 8th, 2017. We got some new video here from an engineer. The weathered rock doesn't hold up too well. It gets washed away pretty easily. Uh, the pressure rock like this stuff is more resistant to erosion. Now you can watch that full video at the end of this video. We've also got the lake update here. We also have six new photos from DWR uploaded today. And the lake level rise has started to slow. We're at 858.80 with 7,048 CFS out and 8,960 CFS in. So it is starting to slow down on the lake rise. Now here are the newest released photos from DWR. They were taken yesterday, but they were just uploaded today. So we've got six new photos from DWR. They're getting that channel widening, as you can see. Got a long way to go, though. And they continue to shoot shot creep on the spillway here. Not sure that's going to do any good if they have to open that thing. That's all the photos. Now we've got a video, the rest of the video from that engineer. So thanks for watching. Have a good day. We're down at the very bottom of the um, emergency spillway drainage that was uh, eroded out. So we're measuring the orientations of um, various shears and joints in the rock as well as the foliation in the rock and then also putting that data on the map and uh, recording each point's location using the GPS and uh, writing down various properties of the rock, the degree of weathering, how weathered or how fresh the rock is. The weathered rock doesn't hold up too well. It gets washed away pretty easily. Uh, the pressure rock like this stuff is more resistant to erosion. So if you look right here, you can see on either side, well, on this side, <laughs> we've got this nice solid looking uh, bluish green rock, which is the amphibolite. And then what I'm standing on, you can see it looks more chewed up and uh, it's got some fabric in it that's sort of oriented like this, it's lighter colored. And you can see it's, a, it's eroded a big hole here. So this is a shear. It continues over to the other side of the creek. And uh, the water's just washed out this more friable, loose material. So when we see something like this, we want to record where it is on the map. We draw a line on the map showing where it is. And um, we also want to get the orientation of it. So. This is a, a nice plane, plane here, planar feature on the edge of the shear. So we have a compass, a Brunton compass that we use to measure the strike and dip of this, this feature. So how it's oriented north, south, east, west, etc., and how much it's dipping, how what's the angle of this space. So that's what we're that's what we're doing with, with this compass. So this one, this one's oriented roughly north-south, just a little bit off the north-south, and it's dipping pretty steeply to the to the east. So that's all the data we report, and then we report how wide it is, how thick it is, whether it's filled with clay or other things. Um, and put a line on the map. Thanks for watching folks and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell for updates. Also like the video. You can also watch more of our videos, one on the left here and one on the right. Have a great day folks. See you another day.